Yo, so this is just a quick note ed while editing. I forgot to mention this during the episode. I did not watch the trailer for season uh, season 8, episode 3. I didn't watch the trailer. I only saw a picture of the trailer, which is Madison and June. Um, and I just wanted to say how that's pretty cool. It's going to be exciting next episode to see a reunion between Madison and June because we all know that we saw them. They knew each other in season 4. And um, they had a bit of a relationship, so that would be really interesting to see. Um, I meant to mention that, I didn't mean to. And it's also exciting that we'll definitely see Madison next episode. So, um, thank you and enjoy the video. Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today, I wanted to do my first impressions of Fear the Walking Dead Season 8 Episode 2. Now, I'm actually really excited and I have quite a few things to say. I made like some notes, which I didn't do for Episode 1, but I kind of was actually like, had some really strong things that I definitely wanted to make sure I mentioned and didn't brush over or forget. Um, and I just want to say before I start, these are kind of first impressions. They're not reviews of the episode necessarily. I've just watched the episode, thought about some things, and like right after I've finished it, like I've just finished it now, I'm coming and telling you what I think straight away before I can think about it truly and whether I think anything was good or bad. Before I get into the episode, I also want to mention a concept in the episode that's very, very exciting. Now, I have a video and I didn't upload it and it's called is Alicia alive? And I actually got like half of you editing it and I probably will post it. But point is, I have talked about like whether Alicia's alive before, even if it was just on the video on um, whether Madison was bit and how maybe the Clarks were immune and if Alicia was alive and in the episode where I talked about Amina, is Alicia alive? But there was a very, very interesting point in this episode and it was kind of the, the infection stops with radiation and June had even gone to the levels of saying that she has seen someone survive the infection and I believe that um it I wouldn't see why she would just be sick why would like June would just say that and that's very interesting because Alicia was bit but season seven the location was filled with radiation like that was like the whole gist of season seven radiation and I think the, it is very likely that Alicia Dedham Carey could be alive. Even if she doesn't return for season eight, the fact is, I definitely think that she's alive. Like, that concept about radiation stopping the infection is completely in my brain. And in the episode, they talked about a little girl called Hannah and how she had too much radiation. I don't think Alicia had too much radiation. I think she got more radiation like than like what we should. But in terms of to stop the infection, I feel like she got enough. But like that, I, I had goosebumps when they first talked about that. Like I genuinely, that's made me really excited. Like really, really excited. I, I hope that Alicia's alive. And that concept, like, it would be so stupid if she wasn't because you would think season seven full of radiation and Alicia just isn't even alive. She did actually die. It, it would just be a bit ridiculous. But um, nevertheless, that is a really, thing, really important thing I wanted to say. All right, so now I want to kind of just talk about my notes that I took throughout the episode. I'm not going to like go over the episode, but I'm just going to talk about certain things that happened and certain things I'm happy with. Um, so June, I'm very happy with June. I was very happy that she wasn't like a Padre character that was just like Padre, 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 Padre. Like she actually was a, a, a decent character. She, you know, she wasn't like my brainwashed by Padre and she felt bad for what she did. And she wasn't like Morgan or Grace. She wasn't like them. She was actually someone that was aware. And that's what I appreciate. And I know Madison kind of wasn't as much so aware, but Madison was like very quickly able to like turn out of being with Padre, like in season seven, it took her an episode and a little bit of talking with Morgan um, before she eventually kind of was like away from Padre. Um, but even Morgan and Grace with a little bit of a talk, they still are not wanting to leave from Padre, deviate. And I know they've been there for years compared to Madison only being there for like three years, Morgan and that seven, six years, and they've had a lot of problems. Like Madison had two kids as far as she was aware that Padre could take away. Morgan had one. And it, I mean, I know he loves the kid and that's like absolutely true, but this kid, he had barely known, like it Mo was a baby and it's not even his biological kid. Whereas Madison had two kids she had known before the apocalypse that she was trying to protect. Like, and it just it bugs me that Morgan, like, I guess it's a more of a problem with the first episode, but it just bugs me how Morgan was just not willing at all to change 
whereas June, you know, was not like that. I wrote that June and ja- June and Madison were great so far. They're the only two characters that I enjoy. Um, we then like Dwight and Cherry. They were all right. I didn't mind them actually, and I thought they changed as quickly as Madison did in episode season seven. Um, whereas it was an episode thinking about it with an opportunity like, oh, we can escape now. That is kind of, that's what I like, and I and I think that it made sense why they would want to change. You know, like them being together. And it's like they don't want to go back. They have the opportunity to get away. You know, they're all together. And that made sense. I liked Dwight and Cherry in this episode. I did. Um, it, they took a long time before they did the surgery on Finch, I think, which is the child of June. Uh, the Cherry and Dwight. Uh, that's their kid, son, Finch. And they took a long time to do the surgery. That was very frustrating. Like, considering that they were like, oh, oh. And then, like... You know, they started off in, like, the afternoon, and then it was, like, night time. Um, when they got to the train, and there was a load of shenanigans going on in the train, and then it was just whatever. Uh, June was a little bit annoying, though, when she wouldn't talk about Hannah. Like, she wouldn't tell the guy about Hannah. Uh, which, it wasn't annoying, to be fair. Like, it, I mean, I might regret saying that, but the fact that it took so long for, like, this guy, or uh, June, to tell the guy what really happened, I don't know. It just it was a little bit annoying, but I, it was a very, like you know, like, not nice situation. So I can see why. Um, I think my one gripe with the episode is how just they took the piss to do the surgery. Like, they could have done the surgery and then maybe had Dwight and Cherry go or something. I don't know. But it just annoyed me so much that they just kept on waiting and waiting and waiting. And, you know, um, they were going to do the surgery, then Cherry went and took the pictures, then the guy came in, then they, then they had to go and change... Uh, go to the back of the train for the power and then June had to go back and save them and then we had to have to talk with a guy and then we had to go back all of that is like come on like just get on with the surgery it was just really annoying um I thought the um, it was a good episode though I thought it was pretty interesting I saw there was a little Sanctuary slash Negan reference I thought it was fine I, I again I don't like that but I thought for what it was, it was a decent reference to compare Padre to Santry in some way because I guess it did feel like a similar kind of, like, vibe and especially if you're from The Walking Dead and we're like, oh, Santry, it's like, oh, yeah, Padre is like Santry. So, yeah, I liked it. Deal with it. Um, and then, of course, this is when I wrote about Alicia being alive and that's what I got to first because I was really excited about that. Um, and then we have a little ending scene with Morgan and Madison. Um, was on was not very happy to see Ma- uh, Morgan. But, once again, Madison proves why she's the best character by literally saving Morgan. Literally saving Morgan. Like, she didn't even save herself. She saved Morgan so she could- so Morgan could save everyone else. Like, Madison is the best. Like, if- if- if you were thinking about that, this episode, that final scene, should have just explained it all. I'm gonna hope that Morgan will finally kind of decide to help people from now on. I can't see how we would go back to Padre after running away. Um, though it's, once again, frustrating if he does now try and save everyone, why he couldn't have done that last episode, and why it took him last episode, and this little truck scene, and for Madison to make a scene, for Morgan to run away, for him to then realise that he should start helping. But it, I think for Madison's part, it was quite nice. I liked the, like the fake out oxygen, all that stuff. It was nice. And of course, like I said, Madison showed why she's the best character. And that does remind me of Madison from season three. I'll give them that. That does make me think of Madison Clark. So that made me happy as well. So I actually really did enjoy this episode. While it was a little bit dodgy, I thought it was better than episode one. And I think it was a lot better than some of the stuff in season four, five, and seven. So yeah, I thought it was good. Um, I would give it about a 6 to 7, no, 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 I'll give it a 7, 7.5 out of 10. Maybe 7, and if I'm being generous, 7.5 to 8. It definitely wasn't a masterpiece. Maybe 7.5 from generous, 7. Definitely wasn't a masterpiece, but it was good. I enjoyed it. I would watch it again, just like I would do with the first episode, which I gave about a 5 or a 6. But thank you for watching. What was your first impression of Season 8, Episode 2, Blue Jay? And please let me know in the comments below. I will see you all next time in a bit.